Okay, students, today we want to look at a very interesting topic, youth empowerment. It's actually a revision class. So for our uh, objectives, we want to quickly look at the definition of youth empowerment, look at reasons why we have youth empowerment programs, and then finally look at the benefits or the benefits of youth empowerment. Okay, so our definition, first of all, for youth empowerment. For some people, they will tell you youth empowerment simply means to make youth be encourage youth to be responsible for their lives. But today I have a more comprehensive definition of youth empowerment. It's actually a process whereby youth or young people gain the ability and the authority to make informed decisions in their lives. What do they use these decisions to do? Literally, they make it, they use it to change their lives and that leads to them affecting other persons in the literal sense. So the first thing is that a youth can gain ability, have the opportunity to affect his own life and at the same time use that to affect another person's life. Okay, so why do we need youth empowerment programs or youth empowerment skills? Actually, UN said in 2012, that, so that's about eight years ago, that most Nigerians found in Europe or Africa, uh, Europe or USA are majorly from Nigeria. And the reason why is because they are not encouraged by the government of the nation. And it's been predicted by, by 2020, that's in the next two years, that it's believed that half of Nigerian youths will be found in foreign land. For looking for what? Greener pastures. So why are we actually having youth empowerment skills in the country? First of all, is to help youths identify and utilize their potentials. They will identify it, know what they can do, what they are strong at, and then maximize. To maximize means to actually bring out the best in whatever one does, okay? And that reason for youth empowerment is to develop confidence and self-identity. Some people have lost their identity due to insecurity, low self-esteem. But youth empowerment is actually one of the schemes that can help youth to identify or recognize their place in the community. Another reason why we need youth empowerment schemes is to encourage youth to grow together in accountability, to be accountable for their decisions and actions in their lives, and then finally, to help you to be eager for a change in the community. Okay, so let's look at some world examples of youth empowerment schemes. Here I have a picture of um, Namibian youth empowerment scheme. It's actually called Port of Hope. This Port of Hope actually, their main work is to help youth to fight against or reduce the number of um, exposure to HIV AIDS in Africa. Majorly, <laughs> Namibia is known to be a country that is poor. So most times they have to engage in sex and that leads to um, exposure to HIV and AIDS. But this spot of hope is actually a scheme. You can see here, this woman is learning to make pots and that helps her to be independent, so to say. Here I have a picture of what we call Urban 4H. It's a youth empowerment skills in the United States of America. This scheme is actually one of the examples of community schemes whereby they involve parents, they involve youth and even children in the development of their country, okay? Now, let's come down to Nigeria, our own country. We have one of our, um, one example of a youth empowerment skill. This is actually an event planning scheme. Here you can see that they taught this person, they are teaching how to decorate a car, how to organize, decorate the, the hall, you know, the table, and it's event planning is a very lucrative business in the country. So a lot of people are learning to do that, to be self-sufficient and self-independent. We have another one here called the cocktail, mocktail, and smoothie training. I know some of you have done some weddings and you have seen some of these things. It's also a, a youth empowerment skill. So they learn how to make some of those smoothies that people like in major places. Take note of this one. It's an online and studio makeup, what we call gilly course. This type of gilly is actually called auto gilly. In the previous times, people have to be making their headgears or whatsoever. But now there are auto gilly already made up and people are learning how to use this to be self-sufficient and self-independent as youth. Okay, that's the purpose of youth empowerment. So let's finally look at the benefits of youth empowerment. Why do we need the youth empowerment in the country? First of all, it gives leadership, good facilities, good leadership and entrepreneurial skills. Definitely, it will help their abilities. Secondly, it is a key to meaningful development, not only for the country, but also for individuals. Remember, youth empowerment skills are to make individuals independent and some financially 
independent. Another reason is that youth empowerment helps here, yeah, like I said, to make youth to be financially independent and also youth to be able to develop coping skills and problem solving skills. They will have critical thinking mentalities that will help their life in the future. In the literal sense. So um, finally, it reduces the level of ignorance and crimes found amongst youths. When people, youths find something to do, it will reduce the level of crime, the level of issues and problems or menace in the community. So what is our VIP? Very important point. It is that youth empowerment helps make life more meaningful. I believe you have learned something very great. Have a blessed day. Thank you.